40 candidates of the Binibining Pilipinas 2022 walk the stage to highlight the nation's rich history and traditions in their national costume presentation. The event was held at the New Frontier Theater in Quezon City and the women's costumes represented holidays, folklore, religious devotion, places of local interest and other distinctly Filipino characteristics. Here are my 15 favorites who captured regional and national identity. Not only their costumes are amazingly crafted, but they have gracefully presented every inch of a Filipina. Bini Bini Wan, Stacy Daniela Gabriel, representing Kainta Rizal. Featuring a piña silk pechera barong, ifuga weave skirt and belt bag, and a nival so cozy train. Adding whimsical delight are the good morning towel, sago embellished gladiator heels, panokli between her knuckles, and even a piso in her ear. Stacy tips her umbrella hat to our valiant whole warriors for working tirelessly to bring warmth to our bellies. Designer, Erjan De La Serna. That's Bini Bini Juan, Stacy Daniela Gabriel. Bini Bini 2, Chris Lynn Moreno from Camarines Sur. Inspired by Amor a la Virgen de la Peña Francia, an homage to the Bicolanos' unwavering faith and devotion to Our Lady of Peña Francia, or as we fondly call, Ina. The Estrella symbolizes our Ina as Estela Matutina, or the Morning Star, the light that serves as a guide to all of Bicolandia, and the Rosary, which was meticulously handcrafted to give honor to Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Designer, Candy Segovia. That's Bini Bini 2, Crystalline Moreno. Bini Bini 5, Karen Lori Mendoza from Iloilo City. Her bayani hand and binukut costume is inspired by her advocacy on mental health. She aspires to help other people lift with what they heavily carry so they can move forward in life. Designer, Tata Blas Pinuela. That's Bini Bini 5, Karen Lori Mendoza. of the indigenous people of Davao del Sur. Designer, Neil Patrick Himlani and Jay Ibai. Bini Bini 6, Elda Luis Aznar. Shella Shane Lehman from Oriental Mindoro. This Tikbala national costume is fashioned with intertwined branches of the Balete tree that forms the forest head and butterfly leaves and hugs 
the body down to its hooves to conceal the creature's looming presence. Sheets of translucent, ghostly white fabric are decoratively draped as its beguiling mane and tail that dance with the wind as it lurks in the shadows. The body is adorned in lace with white pearls and rhinestones flickering like diamonds that will captivate anyone who may glimpse at this elusive mythical creature. Designer Paulo Ballesteros Bini Bini 7 Graciela Shane Lehman Nicole Budol from Angono Rizal. Angono Rizal, known as the art capital of the Philippines and home of the Higantes Festival in celebration of the Feast of Saint Clement. It is also believed that the Higantes Festival is regarded as a myth wherein there were giants who once walked over the land of Angono. The costume represents the image of Miss Universe 2018, Catriona Gray, as she once featured the province and the festivity during her competition. The painting also symbolizes the province of Angono, carefully and intricately handcrafted by one of Angono's best artists. The bodysuit, mostly made of thousands of orange and gold crystals, to embody the Binibi herself as Hebon Girl. Designer Patrick Isorena. Binibini A. Nicole Budol. Bini 15, Nika May Bernardo from Giginto, Bulacan. Her entire costume is a representation of Hanamanan Festival in Giginto, Bulacan. The enormous regalia was made of different kinds of plants and flowers, creating a garden like arch. Adorned with crystals, beads, and butterflies all over the entire arbor. The costume itself is a modern Filipiniana made from Sinkabay, a shaving bamboo art that is famous in Bulacan. Designer Marvin Garcia. That's Bini Bini 15, Nika May Bernardo. Binibini 17, Chelsea Fernandez from Tacloban City. Embellished with authentic materials produced in Eastern Visayas, her costume is a representation of Tacloban City, symbolizing Tacloban's journey towards sustainable social economic development as represented by the lighted San Juanico Bridge, the Bridge of Love. Designer Nick Guarino of Festivali. That's Billy Billy 17, Chelsea Fernandez. Malaluan from 
from Quezon Province. The Volcan de Agua, Mount Banao, is considered as the holy mountain, a spiritually charged location where bodies of water like falls, streams, and ponds make the blessed water. As the stories go, the waters from the mountains are said to be an effective cure for illnesses, forecasts of fortune, and charm against bad spirits. Far from the lava releasing volcanoes in the country, this silent and sleeping wonder is said to release water and stones whenever it perfectly finds its way to eruption. Unpopular and mysterious, yet beautifully destructive and powerful, the embodiment of womanhood who is always ready to conquer. Designer Jojo Alidio, that's Bini Bini 19. Ira Patricia Malaluan. Bini Bini 22. Joanna Ricci Alahar from Davao Oriental. Balyan ng Adlao or Goddess of the Sun. This masterpiece surely reawakens the Filipino pride and long history of ingenuity. This is also an homage to Miss Davo Oriental's hometown, Caraga, where the sun rises first as the easternmost tip of the Philippine archipelago. Designer, Mr. Mark Joseph Sayai. That's Bini Bini 22, Joanna Ricci Alahar. Bini Bini 24, Patricia Samantha Go from Kazan City. This extravagant mariposa national costume is inspired by the majestic wonders of La Mesa Eco Park. This ravishing creation of Erin Montoya depicts the metamorphosis of women. Designer Erin Montoya Bini Bini 24 Patricia Samantha Go. Bini Bini 26, Sayril Payuno from Pora Pampanga. Bunu Magansi. This entire ensemble attempts to capture the extensive heritage of these pioneer settlers. It is an inspiration from the indigenous people, specifically the group of Aita Magansi in Pora Pampanga. It represents their culture and tradition. They also committed their time and skills in painstakingly putting every piece of this wearable work of art. Designer Rich Sabinian Bini Bini 26 Cyril Payumo Binibini 30, Jasmine Lynn Dimakulangan from Albay. This costume represents the Albay tourism logo brought to life through a mythical Ibong Adarna filled with colors, power, and pride. As colorful as the rainbow are the native people of Albay. I will walk in this masterpiece with confidence and encourage everyone to indulge yourself in warm alive. Designer, Er Stephen Alvarado. Bini Bini 30, Cashman Bindi Makulangan.
Bini Bini 35, Diana Mackey from Nueva Ecija. Mangagapas, derived from the rice granary of the Philippines, Nueva Ecija is dressed in a Mangagapas inspired costume to commemorate the abundance of its rice crop production since the 20th century. It represents the harvest and hard work of our forefathers mowing abundantly. Accentuated with the Filipino Carabao that represents Filipino resilience and diligence. The cultural aesthetics of this masterpiece is found through the history of the Filipino people. Unhindered, distinct and diverse, this extravagant piece also represents an enduring illustration of an ancient culture and abundance that surpassed various challenges and setbacks posed by modernization. Designer, Maleka Yamas. Bini Bini 35, Diana Mackey. Bini Bini 38, Ethel Abelianosa from La Union. This Filipiniana national costume is inspired by one of the most famous attractions in the Philippines, the Great Peking of La Union Great Farm symbolizing Reina Uva's Fructifera Cosecha, which means Queen of the Fruitful Harvest of Grapes. Designer, Jeric Sino. That's Bini Bini 38, Ethel Abelianosa. Pretty, captivating, so exciting This girl's have surely won our hearts Bini Bini Pilipinas And those were my top 15 favorite national costumes Of the candidates vying for the Bini Bini Pilipinas 2022 If you happen to like this, don't forget to give it a thumb up Please subscribe to my channel and hit on that notification bell this has been Sir Juicy Jerry. Thank you very much and mabuhay.